Let's quickly review what I was talking about in the previous section. Uh, again, we're looking at the response to blood vessel damage in terms of what happens to the platelets. So without any damage, platelets are happily flowing through the blood vessel. If there is some sort of a damage to the blood vessel, what happens is a layer of endothelial cells is lost in that area. And that exposes the collagen uh, that's uh, underneath that endothelium uh, that is damaged. And that collagen is very sticky as far as platelets are concerned. So the next time a platelet is flowing by, it will stick to collagen. So that is the beginning of a process, three component process where we get platelet adhesion, where you get attachment of the platelet to the damaged uh, area through binding to collagen. That causes activation of the platelet and activation, activation of platelets leads to their clumping or aggregation. And that of course is the primary hemostatic plug. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on uh, platelet adhesion uh, and how they attach to the collagen. So again, uh, the major receptor that binds to uh, collagen is GP1B, but that receptor does not bind directly to collagen. Uh, it needs some sort of a bridge uh, in between. So what happens is that when you have a damage in the blood vessel, uh, there's a factor known as uh, von Wildbrand uh, factor that's released and that's what I'm showing with the yellow and this uh, von Wildbrand factor VWF serves as a bridge between the GP1B receptor on the platelets and collagen so now we have uh, platelets sticking uh, onto this collagen that's exposed as a result of damage to the blood vessel. Uh, there's also other receptors so there's uh, G P1A and GP2A, uh, and these bind uh, directly to collagen. Uh, so we have some redundancies over here, and this has to be there because uh, remember, blood is flowing so fast, and that shear stress alone could actually dislodge this platelet from binding to collagen. So we have a and a number of mechanisms involved, but I'm just showing uh, this mechanism involving uh, one Wilbrand factor because this is very important. In absence of this factor, we will not get uh, proper uh, platelet adhesion to the damaged area. Now that the platelet is uh, bound to the damaged area and it's stuck to collagen, it will now undergo activation. So let's look at activation process. Now, as I mentioned before, once the platelet is activated, uh, there are three things involved. One is that it will release chemicals because it contains this granules prepackaged with uh, a variety of chemicals and that will be released. So that's called degranulation. The second component is expression of our components at the surface of the platelets. And so these are various uh, glycoproteins uh, that will either undergo changes at the surface of the platelets or uh, they will increase in number. And these play a role in the overall stickiness of the platelets and we'll talk about that uh, later on. Finally, there's a morphology change where I talked about how platelet goes from a three-dimensional shape uh, to a more flat shape and then it uh, develops this pseudopods or extensions which are important for adhesion to the surface. So these are the three things that you need to keep in mind uh, when you talk about platelet activation.